All right, so today I'm gonna do a little different video. It's a, a little review of an online shop called uh, Cultivated Reef. This is like my second, like actually third order from these guys. So um, since I've been so impressed by the service, I just wanted to show you, show my YouTube um, people here that subscribe to me, you know, how do they do their shipping and etc. And the quality of corals. I will highly recommend them if anybody's looking for some really nice corals. They always send me some really big mini colonies. And if they're not big, they're beautiful and colorful and pretty affordable too. So let's go ahead and see if I can unbox this, this thing. I think it was seven corals that I ordered. Camera's on a tripod, so I'm hopefully it comes out in focus. Yeah, I can see it. So, nice <clears throat> like I said before, the shipping practices are pretty good from uh, Cultivator Reef. Everything has come alive before. Sure, uh, you always get a 20% off. If you uh, order within 60 days, which is another great deal from them. Let's see, can you, can you guys see that? Yeah. <clears throat> it's like a little, kind of like a little cooler, right? Heat pack inside. Pretty sure that's a heat pack. You see that? Alright, let me pack it from here. Alright, here we go. Bird of Paradise. I lost this guy last time with my um, when I had problems with alkalinity. Bird of Paradise. Tricolor Acro. Extra big red A can or rock. See limeade shortcake. Aqua. Oops. See Palmer Blue Millie. Palmer's Blue Millie. Oh, that's a big piece. Let's see here. Pink Millie. Wow, that's a really big piece. That's a big see, I, like I mentioned before, they're they're all pretty big. Oh yeah, that's a bonus. Sunny D's. Sunny D Sunny D's poly. Alright. So I'm getting the um, actually I'm gonna do my water change today. So what I'm gonna do is use the gallon that I usually get out of my uh Fusion Ten Gallon and, and use it as uh, use it with my Coral RX dip. <clears throat> like I have mentioned before, here are the heat packs. Like I mentioned before, um, you always have to um, dip your corals to avoid any possible hitchhikers. I've never had problems with hitchhikers in um, cultivated reef, but just in case you know you miss something. This is what I'm gonna use here, Coral RX. Works pretty well. And actually I need a, this is the concentrated one I think it is. Yeah, it's uh, four, four capfuls for one gallon. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. All right. I'll probably show a video once the coral is inside the tank. Okay, here I am uh, acclimating my corals to the temperature of my tank. Um, I've heard some people drip acclimate, but I don't know. There's mixed feelings about that one, but I've always done it like this and um, I've had pretty good success doing it. I'm going to uh, float them here for 15 minutes. So 
so it can get uh, used to the temperature and uh, since I just did my water change like I mentioned before I I have my one gallon uh, of um, salt water that came out of the tank mixed already with uh, coral RX so I can deep dip these guys um, I'm happy to uh, <clears throat> mention that um, I can see color on all of the SPS Jesus they look beautiful already they're all pretty big like I mentioned before that cultivated reef always gives you like really big frags I see color in all of them that's excellent like in my last video I had mentioned that um I mentioned that um the my SPS came brown pretty much except for except for like two of them but they're coming back but at least I won't have to wait for them to color up this time so and probably in my next video I'll I'll show I'll show how how the corals are doing which is about a month from now but like I mentioned before if um if anybody's looking for to buy some really nice corals I I would recommend a cultivated reef with no hesitation big shout out to Holly and crew over there at cultivated reef she always answers all my questions which is a whole bunch of them okay so now I'm gonna dip my corals in my many containers that I got here on the floor but that's boring but I won't show that so thanks for watching and um so I'll see you in a month this this is gonna be probably the last time I buy corals for this year I've said that many times already but um I think my <laughs> my 10 gallons packed to the gills I think I'm gonna put um, there's an a can in there and I'm gonna put it in my, my the a can and the and the sunny D I'm gonna put it in the in the in the 28 gallon because I don't I don't want LPS or or Zoas in here because they grow too too fast. All right, everybody, thank you very much for watching my unboxing video and review pretty much review of, of um, cultivated reef and and their corals. Take care, comment, subscribe as usual. Comment, share, subscribe, and thank you for all the new uh, subscribers. And I hope that uh, all these videos help you out, you guys, with um, learning. I'm still learning. I mean, I've been in the reefing thing since 2005, but you will, you never finish learning. It's always a learning process. All right, everybody, take care, and see you in a month.